Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to solve a problem in a body plot. This topic is present in the subject control systems. Let us solve this problem. Sketch the body plot for the given open loop transfer function g of s is equal to 5 divided by s into 1 plus 0.2 s into 1 plus 0.02 s and determine gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency. Assume h of s is equal to 1. Step 1. The given g of s h of s is in standard form of open loop transfer function for the body plot. Now we are going to determine the corner frequency or recover frequency. In this given problem, we have the factor 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 is. This factor, for this factor, the corner frequency is 1 divided by 0.2, that is 5 radians per second. Then the next factor, 1 divided by 0.02 is, is having the corner frequency. 1 divided by 0.02, that is 50 radians per second. Magnitude plot. While writing magnitude chart, consider the factors as follows. The constant term k, s or 1 by s term, other functions in increasing order of break frequency or corner frequency. For this problem, we have four factors. The factors are k is equal to 5 and 1 divided by s factor, 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 s factor and 1 divided by 1 plus 0.02 s factor. Let us analyze the factors one by one. Now consider the factor k is equal to 5. For this factor, there is no corner frequency and the slope in dB is 0 dB. The slope at any instant is 0 dB. The phase angle value for the constant is 0 degree. Now, we are going to determine the factor 1 by S. For this, the corner frequency is none. It is having a slope of minus 20 dB. The slope at any instant is the sum of present slope plus previous slope. Previous slope value is 0 dB. The present slope is minus 20 dB. Therefore, its value is minus 20 dB. This is the slope at starting point. It is having the phase angle of minus 90 degree. Now we are going to analyze the third factor 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 s. This factor is having the corner frequency omega c1 is equal to 1 by 0.2 that is 5 radians per second. This is a first order pore, so it is having a slope of minus 20 dB. The slope at any instant is sum of present slope plus previous slope. Previous slope value is minus 20 dB. Present slope value is minus 20 dB. Therefore, the slope at any instant is minus 40 dB. This is the net slope from omega c1 is equal to 5 radians per second to omega c2 is equal to 50 radians per second. This factor is having a phase angle of minus turn inverse of 0.2 omega. Now we are going to analyze the fourth factor 1 divided by 1 plus 0.02 is. This factor is having the corner frequency omega c2 is equal to 1 by 0.02. Its value is 550 radians per second. It is having the slope of minus 20 dB. The slope at any instant is minus 40 dB minus 20 dB that is minus 60 dB. This is the net slope from omega c2 is equal to 50 radians per second to n point. The factor 1 divided by 1 plus 0.02 is, is having the phase angle of minus tan inverse of 0.02 omega. Now we are going to find the starting point in the magnitude plot. 
in this problem we are having a constant term and 1 by s term therefore we are going to use the formula magnitude at starting point is equal to 20 log k minus 20 log omega s the starting frequency omega s will be assumed as 0.1 radians per second here the value of k is 5 therefore the magnitude at starting point is equal to 20 log 5 minus 20 log of 0.1 if we simplify this value means we obtain 34 db the magnitude at the starting point is at 34 db now we are going to determine the magnitude m1 at the corner frequency omega c1 magnitude m1 at omega c1 is equal to 5 radians per second is m1 is equal to 20 log k minus 20 log omega c1 here the value of omega c1 is 5 radians per second we have to substitute the value of k is equal to 5 and omega c1 is equal to 5 radians per second in this equation means we get 20 log 5 minus 20 log 5 that is 0 db now we are going to obtain the magnitude m2 at omega c2 is equal to 50 radians per second the formula for determining the magnitude m2 at omega c2 is equal to net slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log of omega c2 by omega c1 plus m1 m1 value is already obtained from the um, previous one that is minus 40 into log of 50 by 5 plus 0 if we simplify this means we obtain m2 is equal to minus 40 db now we are going to determine the magnitude at the end point formula for determining the magnitude at end point is net slope from omega c2 to omega e into log of omega e divided by omega c2 plus m2 the end point frequency is considered to be omega e is equal to 100 radians per second therefore the magnitude at end point is minus 60 into log of 100 divided by 50 plus minus 40 that is the magnitude at the end point is minus 58 db we have obtained the starting point for the magnitude plot magnitude at omega c1 magnitude at omega c2 and magnitude at the end point with these values we are going to draw the magnitude plot while drawing the magnitude plot we have to mark the points 34 db comma 0.1 radians per second this is at the starting point and 0 db comma 0.5 radians per second this is for that omega c1 is equal to 5 radians per second value and minus 40 db comma 50 radians per second this is for the corner frequency omega c2 is equal to 50 radians per second and minus 58 db comma 100 radians per second this is for the endpoint frequency now draw the connecting lines between these points now we are going to draw the phase plot for that we are going to consider the factors constant term 1 by s term 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 s term and 1 divided by 1 plus 0.02 s term for the constant term the phase angle is 0 degree for the term 1 by s the phase angle is minus 90 degree for the term 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 s the phase angle is minus tan inverse of 0.2 omega for the fourth factor 1 divided by 1 plus 0.02 s the phase angle is minus tan inverse of 0.02 omega so the total phase angle phi is equal to the sum of all the factors here we have four factors each having their individual phase angle values therefore 
the total phase angle phi is equal to minus 90 degree minus tan inverse of 0.2 omega minus tan inverse of 0.02 omega. Now we are going to obtain the total phase angle value phi. For that we are going to substitute various values of omega. First consider the value of omega is equal to 0.1 radians per second. For that value of 0.1 radians per second the total phase angle is phi is equal to minus 91.26 degree. For the value of omega is equal to phi radians per second the total phase angle is minus 140.7 degree. For the value of omega is equal to 10 radians per second the total phase angle is minus 164.7 degree. For the value of omega is equal to 50 radians per second the total phase angle is minus 219.3 degree. For the value of omega is equal to 100 radians per second the total phase angle is minus 240.57 degree. In a similar graph sheet, the frequencies are marked from 0.1 radians per second to 10,000 radians per second. So, when calculating the angles for the phase plot, include the values omega between two corner frequency for drawing smooth phase plot. In this plot, omega is equal to 10 radians per second is included between omega c1 is equal to 5 radians per second to omega c2 is equal to 50 radians per second to get the smooth plot. Determination of gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency is the frequency where the magnitude plot intersects the zero decibel line. For this problem, the magnitude plot intersects the zero decibel line at 5 radians per second. So, the gain crossover frequency is 5 radians per second. Then, the phase crossover frequency is the frequency where the phase plot intersects at minus 180 degree line. In this problem, the phase plot intersects at minus 180 degree line at 16 radians per second. So, the phase crossover frequency is 16 radians per second. The complete body plot is shown below. In this body plot, we have two separate plots. The magnitude plot as well as the phase plot. The magnitude plot is plotted on the top of the similar graph sheet. The phase plot is plotted at the bottom of the phase plot. Here the magnitude plot intersects the 0 dB line at 5 radians per second. This 5 radians per second is the gain crossover frequency. Similarly, the phase angle plot intersects the minus 180 degree line at 16 radians per second. So, the phase crossover frequency is 16 radians per second.